So similarly, yeah, nice. It's gone through our team. Um, how do I feel? Well, well, I've done this. Going back last week, I tore my bicep, but that's a, another video. I'll, I'll do another video for that. It's just be about TRT. Um, but to be honest with you, until I done that, I, f I felt on top of the world. Um, it took a long time. It took a long time for me to feel like that. Um, what I would say is, is that TRT is a gradual process. Even though I've been pretty much on the same protocol since the beginning, I started off on 100 milligrams a week, uh, pinning twice a week. Um, and I think after like five months, six months, I got put up to 120 milligrams a week. Um, and it's been subtle changes. It's been very subtle changes. But if I look back, I didn't ever watch my videos after I've uploaded them. But just looking at the pictures in my first videos and from the feedback that I've got, I'm a completely different person. I am. Um, I have no emotions. Um, I was probably horrible to be around. Um, I was depressed. Um, and now, um, for the first time in years, probably since I was a kid, I can actually, like, when I, this when I how I am, I can actually answer honestly and say, yeah, I feel good for the first time. So, well, I can't remember the last time I actually generally felt good and wasn't lying about it. You know, people used to ask me, how are you? Oh, yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. But I'd be lying because really I was in shit street. I was I was depressed. I was always hanging, always tired. Um, I felt lingly. But now I feel like my I feel like my, now my hormones are in check. Um, I'm more loving. I'm more caring. Um, I accept uh, criticism. You know, I just just a better person, a lot better person. sit on the sofa and just like I didn't even want to watch the TV I just wanted to just sit there and stare at the wall and that's how depressed and anxious and that I was and when I look back on it it, it scares me how I was I was just a horrible horrible person whether that was strictly down to TRT I think it was a it was a massive player in the fact I'm not gonna say I've completely changed all because of TRT you know I've done a lot of other things that's helped me along the way as well I'm um, taking high strength vitamin D um, which is like obviously a happy hormone which contributes massively I've been doing other things um, it's a good baseline I've been exercising um, I've been doing a lot of meditation recently which is I know controversial I know but I've been trying it and it, it feels like it's been working whether I'm actually meditating or not I don't know I'm just sat there trying not to think about anything because there was a lot of people out there after like a month they're like oh I'm a different person or blah 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 for TRT but every single person is different you know my journey is going to be different to yours Mine's different to the next person's, you know? It, every single person's different in every single aspect, no matter what training, TRT, no matter what they do at work. And everyone's at a different, everyone's at a different crossroads in their life, you know? So I'm 33 now, I've been on it a year, and I feel like I finally got my life back on track. I'm finally happy again. Um, I like to think I'm a good boyfriend again. I've actually got back in touch with my family. I never used to talk to my family. My sister, my mum, my dad, never used to even talk to them. They used to ring me, I used to just, not answer the thing because I, I think it was anxiety and it, I, I just don't know I just looked at my thing and it scared me I didn't want to answer the thing I mean anxiety is a crushing thing but it also crushes your family when you're suffering from that because I don't know they, sometimes people don't understand it and I feel like I've helped people understand it a lot more but um yeah so I recently started because of lockdown now I haven't really been training um and about five weeks ago, I started training again, and I tore my bicep. Not training, I've done it at work. Um, but it's a really good foundation, you know. It just it gives you an extra mental edge to actually start doing something again. If you if you was good at some like if you used to do boxing or or whatever, and you've suddenly drifted down, you got bad on alcohol or drugs or whatever, and you've come off that and you just feel lost. Get your hormones checked, you know. It could be, or if you've done steroids in the past. Your hormones were probably not in check. Your bloods are probably terrible. Get your bloods done. Get your TRT checked. And um, chances are you might be TRT. And chances are it made make your life better. I was never really upset. I was probably, I used to make excuses not to be upset. Just because I, I just didn't want to do anything, ever. I just couldn't work, not do anything. Couldn't be able to have sex, couldn't be able to eat, couldn't be able to drink. Didn't even want to watch TV. Just want to sit there, just staring at the wall. 
So yeah, the sex drive is obviously going up. Some people report having a good sex drive after the first jab. Uh, I think that's just a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a mind thing, really. Uh, but yeah, it, it took about three months really for my libido to sort of like spike. Um, I've never had a massive libido anyway, but you know, I'm having sex, I'm enjoying it, I actually want to have sex. Um, I still didn't really get like um, morning erections, you know. Um, I've been on SSRIs in the past, like antidepressants and things like that. Um, there's studies out there now that SSRIs, antidepressants, kill your sex drive, kill your libido. So I think I've done steps to make it come back a little, but I think it's true, you know, it does, it does damage it. You should avoid antidepressants at all costs. I mean, some people need them, but um, I think doctors just chuck them at you willy-nilly. And it's not the right thing to do, really. I'm not bashing them. I'm not bashing doctors. You know, they're good at, they're amazing at what they do. But there's other precautions around it. I took a HPV. I've been taking that. Um, with my jab in, I haven't been been doing it religiously. I'm just basically sometimes I've been doing it once a week. And I've been missing jabs, and I've been all over the place sometimes. But I've been going up and down with my emotions. Um, so I've been thinking, shit, is my fertility fucked now? Um, but. My missus is pregnant now. It's early days. I think she's like six, seven weeks pregnant. Um, she stopped taking the pill, and I think it is about. It took about three months. So you know, this stuff works. HCG works, um, even if you're not completely like regimental with your pinning. It works. You know, after a year of taking testosterone, even the little bits that I've been doing, 0.2 mil um, twice a week. I'm sure that would. You know, I, th I think it would damage your fertility. But so, if you do want kids, you know, it's worth taking. I was skeptical at some, but um, it works. So that's fertility. Three and five and that. Um, like I said, I haven't really been training, but I've been training on pretty much all my life. Uh, I feel like when you start lifting weights again, ever since being on CRT, your base levels, your base level strength is a lot higher than what it would be if you went on CRT. Um, if I don't lift now for like three months, I feel like when I wasn't on CRT, uh, I feel like 18 kilograms on shoulders um, was really, really heavy for me. But now if I don't train for like four months, I can probably do like 26 years straight away. I know it's not a lot to some people, um, but for me, that, that was really good, you know, I didn't get like 15 reps out of it. But before like 18s, I was really struggling with. So this it puts your baseline up. You know, it keeps your strength and it also keeps your size for a lot longer as well. When I'm not on CRT and I stop training, I seem to I seem to shrink and lose it quite quick. Whereas with when I'm on CRT, I lose it a lot quicker. I don't lose as much. I still I still seem to say like a, quite a nice size for me really. Before I used to shrink down to an odd little size, but you know, it could be a little bump and I think a lot of that's the fact that you know I'm not doing any of that anymore, so I eat I eat fairly well. I think with people who suffer with the mental aspect, I think we've got a sort of diet out. We just didn't expect to just tear tear lane to sort of life out because it went, it really went. You've got a sort of diet out, you've got to, you've got to train, you've got to run, cycle, whatever sort of like exercises that you do. You've got to do it, you've got to exercise with tear tear, otherwise, <clears throat> it ain't going to do a lot. If I exercise and exercise in your mind, it, it ain't going to do a lot. You've got, you've got a, it's just a baseline, you've got to work on it as well. It just don't expect us to do miracles. But um, I think that's it, really. Uh, I will be making a few more videos now because I'm going to be off for like six months because I'm a manual labourer and I can't work at the minute. So I'm going to do videos about mental health. Um, I'm going to do a video about my bicep tear. Um, yeah. So I hope that answers all your questions. If you've got any more, just leave some comments.